hey guys let's start one so today i'm going to show you how we can install and configure the tomcat server in our eclipse id or spring tool suit id so before going into tomcat and installation part first you need to confirm and verify that you have a valid id installed on machine either eclipse id or sts id and after that you need to check whether you have a server configured on your eclipse or sts so let's start the process first we need to see which jdk or java version we have installed on our machine so for that you need to just open terminal on your mac machine and just check echo dollar java underscore home so i have installed and configured the jdk 17 on my machine if you don't have any jdk installed on your machine you can configure the same using the video url provided in the video description so now we need to go to the web browser and search for apache tomcat and we need to go to the first website tomcat.apache.org to download the apache tomcat for our jdk but if you want to confirm and verify like which tomcat version is suitable for your machine with jdk you need to go to the url tomcat.apache.org slash which version dot html so here tomcat has itself provided us the tomcat version and latest release supported java version like whichever version is compatible with tomcat version so as i have already shown you in the terminal how you can see which jdk version is installed and configured on your machine so i have configured jdk 17 so i am just going to use 10.1.x apache tomcat version i can use any tomcat version like 10 9.0 8.5x but this is the latest and stable one so i am just going to use and download the same now you need to go to the this tab on the left hand side of apache tomcat tomcat 10 and you need to download this if you are using a windows based machine you need to download either 32 bit or 64 bit but i am using a mac os so i am just going to either download tar.gz version or zip file so i am just going to download tar.gz version that is 10.0.27 for apache tomcat and i have downloaded the same now i'm just going to unzip this as i have already downloaded this so i have already copied into my eclipse workspace that is java code so i have already copied here now i'm just going to open my eclipse ide so i have opened my eclipse id now i'm going to launch my workspace now first we need to see whether on this tab we have any server configure or not if you have any server configured that means you have already configured any application or web server on your machine at eclipse so i haven't configured any server on my machine i'm just going to click this if you aren't showing this tab on your eclipse id what you can do is just go to this file new other just type server click on it next choose the server type so i have downloaded the apache tomcat that is provided by apache so i am just going to go to the apache select my tomcat version 10.0 click on next select and browse the tomcat folder paths that is apache tomcat till apache tomcat 10.0.26 okay i am just going to open it just select your default jre or whichever jre you wants to have with this tomcat version so i have installed two jres that is jdk 17 and jdk 8 but i am going to select the default jre that i have selected in the bash profile or z shell that is jdk 17 that is the default workbench jre selected by the eclipse itself so i am not going to select any other jre now i'm going to click on next just click on finish so i have set up the tomcat here now let's see whether this tomcat has been configured or not by just clicking on start so in the console window i can see 
my tomcat has been started and i'm just going to go to the web browser and just click on here local host 8080 okay so there is some exception it throws 404 not found so now again i'm just going to the eclipse and just double click on this tomcat server so everything looks sorted to me mm, use tomcat installation i would select this and just click on save i'm just going to stop this and i'm again going to start this now i'm again going to go to the local host 8080 yeah you can see that apache tomcat has been running and i have successfully configured it if you have this page coming up on your web browser that means your server tomcat server has been started okay so what i have done is i have just provided the default tomcat location not the workspace metadata location that it's by default selected okay so now to verify whether it works with any web project just i'm just going to create a basic server project with dynamic web project i'm just going to give it a name demo servlet and i'm just going to click on next next generate a web.xml file and i'm just going to create one html file in webinf index.html and by default it chooses html5 click on finish and i'm just going to click here header tab inside hello world or hello tomcat server to verify whether our servlet has been configured with this tomcat server then run as run on server you need to select this tomcat if you don't select then it won't show you any project available to be configured on tomcat you need to select this tomcat click on next finish i'm just going to restart my server okay so okay now i'm again going to go to this local host 8080 and index dot html okay it again throw me an error an exception i'm just going to console so everything is running fine here so i'm just going to choose a gsp as well and name it as index.csp and just renaming it as hello tomcat server and for the time being i'm just deleting this index.htable might be some issue so just going to deploy it again in my tomcat selected tomcat server finish and restarting my tomcat server okay so you can see here this tomcat server has been started now i get it the issue behind that is i have actually created at the wrong place if i again create this using now a different login.html html and click on next html5 now i'm just creating one header here with login page i'm just going to run it again run on server finish and okay it again shows me and now go to the web.xml sources so you can see here by default it selects the page as index.jsp or index.html the by default pages it has chosen here if i rename this to let's go to rename index.html and index.jsp 
I'm renaming it to login.jsp. Now you would see the changes. Run as run on server. Selecting the Tomcat server. Click on finish. You can see the login page. So the exception that Tomcat earlier throws is because I have created inside the web dot web inf folder but we need to create inside the web app but if you guys also face some issues related to tomcat server most of us faces this i have already shown you you need to select the server location to be use tomcat installation default location also some of you guys might have faced the issue that you are unable to see in the option run as like run on server so for that you need to go to your window and just go to the preferences or extension one in the eclipse you need to go to this preferences from here you can go to the extensions you need to download one java double e extension through which you will see this option run on server if you are unable to see this you need to download that extension i will be providing you the complete name of that extension in the video description so using this we can create and configure the tomcat server inside our eclipse id or sts id so that's it for today guys thank you